सी और बांग्लादेश दोनों ही छोड़ चुकी हैं उनके बेटे सजीव वाजेद ने न्यूज एटीन इंडिया से एक्सक्लूसिव बातचीत में बताया कि शेख हसीना अपने नेतृत्व के खिलाफ हुए विद्रोह से बहुत निराश है और वो रविवार को ही इस्तीफा देने का मन बना चुकी थी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज दैट वॉट इज योर फर्स्ट रिएक्शन ऑन रिसेंट डेवलपमेंट इन बांग्लादेश योर मदर इज इन इंडिया माई रिएक्शन इन नाउ इज safe keep my leader safe uh bangladeshi people they have uh, they have chosen this so then they can get whatever they want they can have whatever they deserve it's not my problem anymore did you speak to your mother after yes. she left uh, bangladesh morning. she i spoke to her this morning she is in good spirits but she is very disappointed and disheartened that the people of bangladesh that after all these years of development of fighting militancy of developing bangladesh from a poor country to a middle income country that the people of the country betrayed him uh, can you give me any indication where she will be taking political asylum no that this is a decision has not been made there yes. is no decision on that uh, till the decision is met uh, she will be in india yes probably S sir did army put pressure on her to resign no she not at all the army was very supportive the army wanted to defend her but the ar she did not want the army to shoot and kill uh, students so she preferred to resign she chose to resign sir what is your expectation from uh, india from pm modi what is your expectation from indian government government because uh, uh, during uh, sheikh hasina tenure uh, bilateral relations uh, reached a new height yes unfortunately now is now either the a weak return government will come or the bnp jamaat which is the fundamentalist party will come to power and now bangladesh is going to become another pakistan so Uh, now it is too late i know uh, mr modi and prime minister modi and his government have been very supportive we have been good friends but now it is too late it is too late so do you think any yes. for foreign actors uh, uh, did their role in destabilizing your your mother government sheikh hasina government do you think so i mean i do not have any solid evidence but i do believe isi was involved and perhaps the us government as well and uh, one thing more sir uh, uh, we have seen the pictures videos uh, uh, how sheikh mujibur rahman idol was uh, broken how do you see this all uh this is the betrayal of the country after sheikh mujibur rahman gave them independence and sheikh hasina gave them development if this is how the people of the country uh react then now they deserve whatever they get it is not our problem uh in india sir we are very concerned about people of india concerned about bangladesh bangladesh people but uh, they are also concerned about the hindu community do you think hindu community communities are safe there now in new interim government no not at all no not at all because already there are hindu um, mandirs and communities being attacked in fact the military bangladesh military has set up a hotline for the hindus to call in but the bangladesh military seems powerless to stop anything so yes Uh, uh, what will happen is now that the militants and jamaat e islam and bnp bnp jamaat were the ones that really backed the student movement now they have a free hand and they are attacking they are attacking the awami league and they are also attacking the minorities and the hindus because they are mostly our supporters uh, uh, do you think sir it was pre planned pre organized the whole thing because uh, the quota student protest turned into a big protest uh, across the country then uh, sheikh hasina had to leave bangladesh uh, and then president ordered to release of uh, khalida zia and uh, army also took uh, took control of the country now how do you see this it was pre planned can you give some can you elaborate sir something about this 
No, I don't think it was, it was pre-planned, but of course the opposition and Jamaat were involved and perhaps some foreign actors they were trying to destabilize Bangladesh unfortunately the army generally you know uh, they did not want to shoot at civilian uh, protesters we did not want them to shoot at protesters so my mother wanted to resign instead of shooting at protesters this is why here we are what kind of challenges do you see for India now well, now you have another Pakistan on your eastern border again. That is the challenge for India. And uh, how do you see your mother future now from here? Uh, my mother my mother has retired. This was going to be her last term anyway. She is 77 years old. Yeah, okay, break.